So here we are living in our elephant view bungalow on our new tropical island home in Thailand. Scenery, shockingly beautiful. People, super friendly. Uh, our enormous bathroom, dare I say, shower room, exceptional. Food has been delicious, if not occasionally digestively problematic. Uh, the ecosystem, really a very unique system, really cool to explore. You have these massive mixed species schools of reef fish, herbivores that sort of suck you in. The big challenge is that the water clarity remains poor. Uh, we've had a lot of storms and a ton of wind lately, and that's kicking up a lot of uh, junk in the water. You can't see through it quite so clearly, and we can't do our research as easily. And our research is centered on only the most amazing topic imaginable. We're trying to understand how reef fish social interactions determine how they eat algae on the reef and prevent said algae from taking over the reef and killing all the coral that we love. So if we're gonna be able to pull this research off, we've gotta find clearer conditions. We've gotta find better study sites, which means road trip time. But I'm not sure if you call it a road trip when most of the road is destroyed. Show this to my mom. So as you just saw, despite Heather's adorable superhero-like field research costume and her lucky helmet, we were not fortunate enough to find clear water sites on our home island, which is a bummer. But we didn't walk away completely empty-handed. We learned a couple of really valuable lessons. One is if you're going to be road scooting, not sure if that's the right term, all day long, you should apply copious amounts of sunscreen to the tops of your hands or invest in some sweet driving gloves. Otherwise, your hands will catch fire. Second, if you're one of those adrenaline junkie type people and you're thinking about squirrel suits and stuff like that, look no further. Uh, you should really just drive a scooter around Thailand because it's one of the most terrifying things imaginable. I say this despite the fact that I think I drive like a grandma out there. We have 12-year-old kids speeding past us while texting on their scooters. Third, and most importantly, we may have to move to a new island to find the sites that we're looking for. Time will tell. <laughs>